So if you recall, I recently made the New Year's resolution to only buy 12 pieces of clothing the entire year, and that's one piece a month. Yes, I took calculus. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to buy, I immediately thought of the perfect pair of jeans, which I've been hunting for for probably like six months now, but I've never been able to find. I'm currently wearing my favorite pair from American Eagle. They're just high-waisted skinny jeans with a rip in the knee, and I absolutely love the fit of these, but unfortunately American Eagle discontinued them shortly after I bought them. So I'm gonna have to look elsewhere, and I'm gonna see if I can get myself a little bit more of a sturdy, high-quality pair of jeans as well. So without further ado, let's get started on our journey to find the perfect pair of jeans. My first stop was American Eagle, which has kind of been my go-to for jeans throughout the years because they're super affordable, they're stretchy, and they generally fit me pretty well. And I wanted to see if they had come out with any new styles that were kind of comparable to my favorite pair. I probably got some more flashbacks from my teenage years working here, which you guys might know about. <laughs> I picked out three pairs of high-waisted black jeans to try on because I've embraced the darkness of my soul recently and have been wearing a lot of black. The smallest size, which is my usual one, did not fit me uh, RIP freshman 15. Or maybe they just changed their sizing system. I'm gonna go with the latter, but who knows. Luckily, when I went one size up, they actually fit me pretty well. So I've had to size up one, but this is actually a pretty good fit. Here's what they look like. They actually fit really well, except for around the crotch. There's like a little bit more room than I'd like. It's a little bit baggy here, but otherwise it's pretty good. I'm just gonna do meal jeans exercises to make sure that they're stretchy and they fit well and they're comfortable. Ideally as well, I'd like a little bit of a higher waist. Surprisingly, American Eagles still got it. I actually really like these jeans, and although they're not perfect, I think they're a really good option, especially for the price point. They're around $50, and their jeans are on sale anyway. I think as I go around the other stores, I'm gonna use this as a point of comparison and see whether their jeans stand up to these and are really a lot better and worth the price. If I can't find anything that's better, I might come back and buy these, actually. In order to give some designer jeans a go, I headed over to Bloomingdale's. I had really never tried on designer jeans before, but I definitely recognized some good brands. But a lot of them weren't high-waisted, which is like a must for me, so I just tried on this one moto pair. Okay, so I did end up trying on a more expensive pair from the brand DL, but these are pretty tragic. Look at that awkward crotch. And I thought the moto detail was pretty cool, but it turns out that it's just super duper itchy, so these are definitely a no. Next, because I was going thrifting anyway, I decided to stop by Buffalo Exchange and see if I could get a good deal on any designer jeans. I tried on a bunch of pairs, but unfortunately none of them were quite right for me. These are a little bit too long. 290s stoner. These ones by Current and Elliot are actually super, super soft, but this is one hell of a low waist. So next up, I headed to a store whose quality I really admire. Just kidding. I'm actually talking about Madewell. It's always been a store that I've wandered through but never tried stuff on because the price tag is kind of insane. Their jeans are closer to $100, but I thought I'd use this opportunity to try some of their jeans on and see whether it was worth investing in a really high quality pair. I went straight for their nine inch high rise skinny jeans in black with a nice little knee rip at a whopping $128, yikes. But these jeans kind of slayed me. They felt amazing on. So soft, so stretchy, and yet they still felt really sturdy and durable and like a real pair of jeans. Here you can see me doing my very attractive uh, jeans testing dance. One thing, well two things that I really liked about these jeans were first that the knee rip lands at the perfect place just above the knee because I've actually found that if the knee rip is at or below the knee, it makes my legs look really short. Um, and I also love the cutoff detail around the ankle. I think it feels really modern and cool. And I know you can just hack off your jeans with a pair of scissors, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta buy into the trendy shit in the fashion industry. The only issue with these though is that there was weirdly a lot of room around the crotchal region, so it was kind of more wrinkly than I'd like and it gave me that weird like bunchy triangle when I put my legs together. So I ultimately did have to pass up these jeans because at $128, they better be fucking perfect. 
I also tried on the exact same fit except without knee rips, but weirdly the material was just not the same. It wasn't as stretchy or comfortable, so I felt pretty ambivalent about these jeans. They felt pretty much the same to me as American Eagles. I think that just goes to show that even in like the world of online shopping, there's definitely still a place for actually trying clothes on because there's so much individual variation between each style and each pair of jeans. Finally, I tried on this pair of vintage jeans that I had kind of just picked up on a whim from the clearance section, but I ended up really, really liking them. They felt like a real denim. They had a little bit less stretch in them than I was used to, but they felt like they would really last me a long time and they looked like real jeans versus kind of jeggings. Um, and here I'm doing a little hair flip. I totally felt like I was in like a denim ad. I feel like a lot of jeans that I own are kind of understated. They're very form fitting and kind of a stretchy material. So it doesn't give you like the full texture and feeling of denim versus these, which at the risk of sounding redundant, give a really denim -y vibe to the look. You know, it's like, it's a statement. So before committing to buying these jeans, I did my good old two-stage denim testing extravaganza, which may or may not have been a thing that I just made up on the spot, but let's ignore that. The first step is to check for the fit at four potential trouble areas. For me, that is at the crotchal region. Make sure it's not too crinkly or weird. The second is the booty, and these make my booty look pretty poppin', I'm not gonna lie, even though I don't have much going on there. It is help in that situation. The third is the hem, which you can obviously get fixed by a tailor, but like, let's be honest, who the fuck has time for a tailor? Um, and I always wanna make sure that it looks good, both unrolled and rolled, so that I have more options for styling my jeans. And then the final thing is the pockets, just are there real pockets? Because I need somewhere to store my hands during socially awkward situations, or you could use it for things like your phone or your credit card too, but that's kind of weird. And then the second stage is some motion testing for all of the extreme athletics that I do. So the first thing is obviously just walking in your jeans. Are they comfortable? Are they chafing? Are they falling down at the waist while you move and you constantly need to be pulling them up? Secondly, can you do a squat in them without it feeling like it's going to rip at the crotch? Thirdly, can you do the bend and snap from Lily Blonde? And lastly, can you sit crisscross applesauce without it straining at the knees too much or if they're distressed without the knee hole ripping any further? So to be honest, these weren't really the type of jeans that I had set out with in mind. I was thinking I was going to buy some of those skinny black jeans, but I really, really liked them and they were on sale for $25, which I don't really object to either. Um, not to say that I bought them for the price though, they really are my perfect pair of jeans. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope this inspires you guys to find your perfect pair of jeans, or maybe now that this video is obscenely late and it's nearly spring, your perfect pair of shorts. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.